were involved, but it's fine now. Yeah, I couldn't get the Pentapod tripod. made a half return. Yeah, it's now holding the camera, kind of. Yeah. At least the bit, like the whole. It's hard part. to explain. Yeah, but that's fine. So we're gonna open this podcast up before we get to any topics about uh something Eric and I need to ask Zach. Eric, okay. would you would you like to uh, initiate it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we were thinking about going on vacation somewhere. So we got a place, a beach house, and uh -huh. in South Carolina. Uh huh. And we were wondering if it was a good idea to go to Waffle House down there. Yes. <laughs> yes. Can you tell us about Waffle House? Waffle House slaps, dude. <laughs> Waffle House is fucking amazing. Oh, man. Yeah. So you got to go in and you got to get the big meal because it comes with the hash browns. It comes with the eggs. It's got the waffle. It's got your both. It's probably 10 bucks. Wants. Yeah. And it's like $8 <laughs> for all of that shit, dude. It's great. Yo, what the fuck? And you can also get your, like, they have their, with their potatoes, like their, with their uh, fry, their home fries, mm -hmm. it's, like, they get, like, oh, uh, they're, like, the thin cut ones, oh, and they yeah. also got, like, but you can order them in a certain way, mm -hmm. so you can get them, like, smothered, covered, peppered, and that means, like, oh. there's, like, cheese and onions and, like, fucking peppers and, like, oh, dude, it's so, it's so fucking good. Oh, it's so fire. I love oh Waffle House. God. It's greasy diner food, but it's like it's good. <laughs> it's so good because it's eight dollars, and that waffle is fire. Oh, it comes with a waffle too, dude. Yeah, dude. Oh, I'm it's so, so fucking good. I'm excited more for Waffle House. Dude, than Waffle the House slept. I'm just kidding. Yeah, Whenever we're on the Myrtle Beach. Yeah. August second. When I drove August. to Georgia, we went to Waffle House three times. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> I mean, it's the ultimate, like, cheap experience. And the thing is, like, me and my friend Nick were the one that drove here from New Jersey to Georgia, and then I had our friend Colin with us, and then we also picked up our other friend, and they live in the South, so they go to the Waffle House all the time, to the point where we even dropped them off at one point, and it was just me and Nick, and we were still like, I think it's Waffle House time, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> because me and the Nick, me, the, our two New Jerseyans knew we had to get our Waffle House fix in before we had to get yeah, back before to, we had to get back. before we had to go back yeah. to the... To the north, where there is none. Yeah, but you know what? At least our food is good as shit still. Yeah. And the thing is with Waffle House, the further down south you go, the better it gets, too. Yeah. That's, mm -hmm. I kind of want to try KFC Waffle The best too. Waffle House is in Georgia. I I think it was the best I've ever had. Yeah, well, so we, we're going to South Carolina, so that's like one above it. Yeah. <laughs> no, you'll get you'll get the experience. They also have Huddle House there, which fucking sucks. Oh. <laughs> it's like... Don't go to Huddle House. Yeah, it's like a... It's not awful. It's just like... Okay. It's like the discount Waffle House, if that's if that's like. Is that possible? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Weird. Interesting. There's also Bojangles down south. I haven't had Bojangles. I've been to the south like multiple, multiple times. I still haven't had it. Well, we might go because it's right next to the Walmart, like four minutes from the place we're at. Yeah. I've been to. Uh, We're gonna buy a gun in the Walmart. I've been to Carl's Jr. a couple times. Oh, how is it? Oh yeah. I like it. We have to do it's that. All right. You can do that around here. Well, not around here, but like in Delaware. Yeah, I had, their, uh, okay. I had their, well, the closest Waffle House to here is an hour. Well, I'm not going to that one. <laughs> yeah, it's like an hour away if you want to go to Waffle House. But, uh, yeah. no, I've had Carl's Jr. twice. It's all right. It's all, all I remember from Carl's Jr. is the weird advertising where they had, like, all the women in it, and they were, like, had, like, no clothes on. <laughs> Does anyone remember those? No. No, I don't really remember those, but I. It was, I think I'm. I'm, am I thinking of the right ads? I'm, but it was crazy. Like, they had... They just had the weirdest ads, and I'm surprised that they were on the air. Because, I don't know. Yeah, it was, like... It was strange. It'll stop using sexy women in ads, according to this, uh, <laughs> this article. That's such a funny article. <laughs> but, like, look at this. this Yo, is, what the fuck? Th these were the commercials. <laughs> what the fuck? Carlos Jr. your ads, bro. They were. They wanted to associate their brand with women. I I see. Well, I'll put the <laughs> article. Go about I mean, it works for like. If you don't, you'd have to advertise your entire store around that though for that to really work though. That's true. Yeah. Things like Hooters is popular because that's how they advertise themselves. That's the thing. Hooters that is what they're. That's their gimmick. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's their gimmick. Yeah, that's their gimmick. The they because Carl's Jr. Jr. just threw it in Carl's there. Carl's Jr. just kind of had it there. <laughs> Like, hey, why not? I've never had Hooters before. 
I've never had these. I want to go just for the wings because I've heard. I heard the food is like not that great, and I heard Tilt a Kill is like better Hooters. That's yeah, what but Tilt to Kill isn't really that good. I, if you're just gonna go out somewhere, just go to fucking Texas Roadhouse. It's good every time. I fucking love Texas Roadhouse. It's good Roadhouse, dude. every time. Dude, they don't so miss. Ever. They don't. Yeah, no, they really don't. It's consistent every, <laughs> every single time. time. It, tastes it is consistent every single time. <laughs> How about let's talk about the last time we went to Texas Roadhouse with uh, what's his face? Oh, all of them, Dylan. Yeah, Luke. it was it was us. It was Luke. It was wait, was Luke there? No, no it was us. Uh, that's right. It was us, both Dylans, Lauren, and who was the sixth man? Uh, Justin. Oh yes, yeah, Justin. And we were all hanging out there, and then <laughs> Eric gets some drinks, and then he, this guy pours him a really heavy drink. What'd you get? I just or, so basically uh, from the start, I was like, I kind of want a Long Island. I got that, and he was like, yeah, yeah, bitch drinks, man. Oh yeah. And then I was like, Nah, bro, this isn't bitch drinks. This will get you more fucked. Long well, Island iced tea. Well, they fuck, fuck you up. up. They can fuck you up. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like, that is the that is the cheapest way to get drunk fast. Yeah, literally. literally that's why yeah. I always get it. Yeah. It's like ten bucks no, to get drunk after. Yeah, one. dude. Like literally yeah. after one, you're already buzzed. And yeah. Like, I don't. Thank you. But anyway. I don't like. To drink a lot of liquor, I like to drink a small amount of liquor the to get smallest drunk amount faster. To get the yeah, the fastest. That's why I like rum. Mm-hmm. I can drink. I can get it down. Get a few rum and cokes in you, and you're feeling great. Yeah, yeah, dude. But yeah, um, basically, I ordered that, and then I asked for a, cr- a vodka and cran. He was like, "Damn, you really are getting bitch drinks," and I was like, "Ah, eh, yeah, whatever." Slow down, bro. And then I just didn't order it, and then he came back, and he was like, um. I was like, can I just get a Long Island then? And he was like, do you want both? And I was like, yeah, fuck it. And then he actually brought out <laughs> fucking both. And then I had to drink both of those. And then I was just fucking drunk as shit. <laughs> that was great. And then I was like, guys, I can't hang out anymore. I've yeah, got to go home. <laughs> Did you have a beer after that too? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was like, Miller, you. <laughs> oh, that was great. Just watching Eric fuck up the order. And he's Bro, I kind of want a beer. with it. If you want a beer, there's some kind of, of but I have to drink it. I don't like to drink if I it's have only to one. Eaten. One beer won't do it much. It doesn't do anything. Yeah. But if you want the murder, maybe. Fresh. If you're drinking one beer, you're just drinking it for taste at that point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. What is it, Court Banquet? I guess we'll finally go oh, on the topic. Banquet? Now that we've gotten the food banquet, topic yeah. out of the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, can we talk about Eels and Escalators now? Yeah, sure. We'll talk about that. So, the for my first ever game of Eels and Escalators, it was kind of chaos. It was kind of, it was fucking great. Okay, but before we talk about that, let's give some context. So, yeah. in the show SpongeBob SquarePants, there's an episode called Sailor Mouth, the one where they, like, accidentally say Sailor Yeah, where they were saying Christmas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Like that. <laughs> Bro, I was not ready for I that. I can't bear it. Dolphin noises are so fire, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> so it did. <laughs> I was trying. Bro, oh, you were trying, all right. <laughs> Bro, it sounds like more SpongeBob's laugh than a dolphin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, as I was saying, on the episode, yeah. they play a board game called Eels and Escalators. It's kind of like a play on of shoots and ladders. But on Hot Topic, you can buy oh, the board game. You can. <laughs> they released it last year, and we it's bought It's very it. DIY, too. Yeah. You, like, do it yourself. Mm-hmm. So, basically, you put the escalators and the eels wherever you want. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And chaos just instantly. Literally. <laughs> All right, so AJ got this card, right? And um, you can... He was able to move any eel. The, and the There was this one eel that, like... <sighs> If you went down it, you just lose automatically. So there's like... You lose eel. You choose, like, not only are you choosing the game path, you're also changing the path as the game goes Yes, on. yes. That's the so path. fucking stupid. So basically, you put the you lose eel, like, right at the start. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren gets hit first. <laughs> and then all of us make it, like, halfway up the board. And then somehow, like, the eels, like, they take you all the way to the end. Bro. We had them set up so it, there was one that double shot you all the way back to the start. George was this. like way in front of me and then he ended up like at the start. <laughs> it's just running for the start but you keep getting sent back to the beginning. So it's just, it's just an endless ending. loop. It's That's so funny. It's fucking loop. So then like we all get sent to the start and then one by one we keep getting hit by the fucking you lose. Fuck you. 
<laughs> you ever seen, uh, you know, Getting Over It, the game? Uh, yes. You remember, if there's a point in that game where if you get all the way to the top of the level, if you fuck up that last jump, you will fall all the way to the beginning of the game. Oh, my Yeah. It's like that. <laughs> it's we, like... Except we all ended up losing. <laughs> Every yeah. single one of us got hit by the you lose fucking eel. <laughs> Our first game together, and nobody <laughs> all won. Of them nobody won. Nobody won. Nobody won. So basically, George was the last one left, and AJ was like, well, technically you don't win until you get to the end. So, like, his very next roll, he rolled two eels, and that means go to the closest eel, and the closest fucking eel was the you lose eel. <laughs> and that's how it fucking ended. It was, that's great. It was so trash. That was the best fucking game I've ever played. <laughs> Board game anyway. That's awesome. And then the very next game, after you guys had left, yeah, we, we got a few new recruits in there, and Ethan ended up winning the second game after like almost an hour. <laughs> that game went on the Dude, second. The game eels, was so, so basically, long. the mouth of the eels go towards the end. So if you get hit, if you get hit, it's like you're eating and going down. Mm-hmm. But the escalator takes you to the other side. Like mm. that, you can have like really big advantages with the escalator if you actually hit it. <laughs> but yeah. Even the fun. eel of like some Even of them are escalators versus control. eels is really competitive. I feel like we needed to spread them out more because they were all like at the very fucking start. The first two rows, you every time you hit an eel, you'd go back to start or yeah, you'd lose. That was up. <laughs> yeah, literally. It's all because I moved the you lose eel down there. Literally, it was at the so basically we put the you lose eel on the very last space before finish. So if you just got to the finish but were one off, you would have lost. But then AJ's ass moved it all the way to the start. I think I have no regrets. Yeah, it was fucking great. That was a hilarious. I'm glad he did that. All was fucking lost. That was so stupid. <laughs> but in uh, other news, a little sad news, uh, James Conn died. If you don't know who that is, he was uh, in The Godfather. The he, Sopranos he, guy? The so- no, not The Sopranos guy, but he, he also, also just died. died. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you guys probably know him as uh, Buddy's dad in Elf. Oh, oh yeah, okay. yeah, that yeah, guy. Yeah. yeah, he sadly passed away. What's the What's the other guy's name? The guy who played Paulie. Yeah, I don't. Paulie. I don't know his name. Paulie. Yeah, Paulie. Oh, there's been a lot of Tony Sarichi. Yeah. This is all in the last four days. A yes. lot of people have died. Mm-hmm. The The former Japanese prime minister was assassinated. Yeah, that also what? happened. Yeah, he was assassinated. Guy rolled up with a homemade shotgun. And he oh, made that's his what house happened. And shot him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he got arrested. There's a video of it. I have the video. <laughs> Should we put that in the link dump? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can you put that in the link dump? Maybe <laughs> not. Maybe not, maybe not that. <laughs> no, I saw it last night. But uh, and then him, and then also the guy who made Yu-Gi-Oh just died. That is another one. Yeah. yeah. I don't know who that is. I'm, I don't really have a connection to Yu-Gi-Oh, but if people do, that's. And yeah, he was young too. He was yeah, only he's like really, 60. Yeah, he's really not that old. Yeah, oh, wow. he was only like 60. I mean, Kentaro Miura died at, like, 58. Yeah. Yeah, Kazuki Takahashi. Yeah. That was the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! creator. Yeah. Which, that, that's another uh, sad death. Yeah. Yeah, he was only, uh, he was 61. No, he was 60. Yeah. He was, I don't know how I got that right off the dome, but, you know. Yeah, Kentaro Miura was, like, fucking 58 when he died, and he was the last, like, really big guy who made, like... You know, brought like the most popular like manga and anime from Japan was like. Mm-hmm. I'll put yeah. all four of these sad yeah. deaths in the link dump if anyone yeah. wants to read about them. But that that was that's a little upsetting. But that was all in the past. Dude, week. it was all in the same. Mm-hmm. Literally, like the last two three days. It's crazy. You dark. Violent. Cont- <laughs> Violent. Violent. Contemplating what existence. Oh, shall we existence talk about that? Is pain. Oh, existence anyway, is pain, bro. Yeah. You're right. We gotta fucking work and shit, like. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk, talk about work. Vibe, huh? Oh yeah, talk about work, Zach. What have you been up to? I'm yeah. leaving Wawa. Kind of. Kind of. So I I got a new job at a warehouse in Violin. Okay. And, uh, I've been. I'm probably gonna get somewhere between a lot of hours. And a lot of hours oh, there. Okay, okay, okay. So I can't be working at Wawa all the time. But I am going to stay there for a couple more months. But only take two days. So I'll spend eight hours at Wawa. And then okay. the rest of the week yeah, there. Until I have enough money to fix my car. And then I can 
And then I can leave. So one. what's wrong with your fucking car? So my catalytic converter. Oh, is here we go again. Exactly. Oh my uh, god! If you so go back to the podcast the three fuck? years ago, so, and we're talking about the same issue. So <laughs> basically, just fucking lease a new car, bro. No, because I'm still paying this one off, and I what? I have to drive it. Um, if so something bad happens to this car, I'm paying for a car that I can't drive. <laughs> So, so what's wrong what exactly it? is wrong with it? The cat's just the cat's shit. getting fucked. Yeah, because it's just because I put a hundred thousand miles on the damn car already. So that's not that many miles, though. That I means mean, quite a bit. I mean, that's like only like a half of its life. Yeah, but you can go up to like two feet. But that's where they start to like. That's when around a hundred. At once you put like a hundred thousand miles on your car, that's when shit starts going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like. I haven't gotten a tune-up since I got in it, so I've driven 100,000 miles without a tune-up. No, well, that's your issue. Well, that's your fucking problem. That's why the cats are fucking taking a shit. What the fuck? Yeah. You gotta go, go yeah, get that shit. I gotta go do that. The cat isn't that bad. It's only like $500, so... That's a lot of money. The cats are so expensive, bro. Mm, yeah. Yeah, so... Fucking people. I can't. I'll put it on my cat shelf. Like, bro. I have to pass inspection in September. Uh, I have my inspection's up, apparently. My car will pass it, it's just like, I haven't taken it. You should go do it, like, now. No, so that, just in case though. something happens. I'm paranoid of cars, man. They, they scare me. I can't imagine why. Well, yeah, we just, you have to get a new car. Well, if it makes you feel any well, better. I like my car now, I'll just keep it. Hold on, let me, let me do some quick mental math. Yeah, I meant, like, after you go get, like, a new car so you don't have to fucking Oh, once I'm done paying with it, well, paying for it, I'm going to sell it. As soon as possible. Like, yeah, like as soon, like dude, you'll make bank bank off the car, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just you know that. move to a different. I, all I need to do is fix the bumper on it, like the yeah. front one, and then I'll be fine. I'll sell it. It'll and then sell like a good fucking um, detail will put your value yeah. of the car up too. Yeah. Just have something to detail it. Well, to make you feel a little better. You still don't own as many cars as Seth has total. You're yeah, right. He's officially um, passed you with yes. his current car. So there's that. He's probably, to, it's probably like triple what we spent too, or quadruple. You need to find myself. Quintuplet like, of more. It's than like all 20 us. times more you than I spent. I need to go to fucking car. Florida and I find some. I've zero on my cars. There you go. I need to go to Florida and find some rich widow to marry. Yeah. <laughs> Be my sugar mama. That's the dream. Fucking pay off my car. <laughs> get me a new car, baby. Here, just take all the money, new car. What would you get if you were going to get a new car? You already know Zach's gonna get a fucking Ram TRX. I was gonna get a Tesla. <laughs> I was gonna. I mean, AJ was correct. But a Tesla. I would love to have one, but I wouldn't get one. Why? You if I had enough money. money to get one, I would. But... Oh yeah, definitely. Like, I wouldn't get one just randomly, but if you have money, fuck yeah. it. If I had the money to get a Tesla, I would one hundred percent get a Tesla. Kidding me, dude? And there's so many better cars. Than I'm gonna that. sleep on the highway. Nobody's gonna stop me. <laughs> <laughs> you still have to squeeze one. the handle, you know. Shut up. <laughs> you can't drive for more than like a few minutes without like squeezing the steering wheel. Oh really? Yes. Uh, that's how they get you. The tech isn't advanced enough yet. Well, they don't want people fucking falling asleep and then dying. Like in a car crash. The you have car's to still... fine, dude. You, you still have to control it just in case. Yeah. Well, you know what? Uh, I trust technology more than I trust other people driving, so awesome. computers don't fuck up most of the time. Except Humans fuck do. up a lot. Have yeah. you fucking watched Terminator? <laughs> <laughs> Those were purposely trying to kill us, you know? <laughs> we program something to not kill us, it usually doesn't. Yeah. Usually. Well, like. Well, a lot of Tesla deaths are not, I wouldn't even say are, are like, yeah, they're the fault of the computer. It's to the fault or the limitation of, like, of the computer. So, like, it, it's very hard for a computer to tell the difference between, like, a wall and, like, a child. <laughs> mm-hmm. So. <laughs> That's true. Uh, it's really it hard. It in, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it all blends yeah. together. It's all, like, yeah, but I don't, I wonder how many, like, deaths are actually due to autopilot. I just thought of a topic. Uh, you guys, you have any more to say about that or no? Really. No, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. So this year, the uh, oh, copyright for the original telling of Winnie the Pooh has expired. Yes, it has. 
So now, this year, <laughs> there's a new film called Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Which is a horror movie. It's, it's a Winnie horror movie of Winnie the Pooh. That's kind of funny. Because now that, because it's been over 75, what is it, I think it's over 75, 90. 90? Is yeah, it's it 90? Like, I think it just, I'm going to check the date real I quick. think it's 75, if anything is over 75 years or 90 years, it goes completely public domain, which means you can make any story based on Winnie the Pooh off the base material. So you could do any Winnie the Pooh story you want in the in the domain. You just can't have it relate to any Disney properties who owned it before that. So you can so, have Winnie the Pooh, but you just can't have like the red shirt. Yeah, you just that's cannot have Disney it like the, yeah. There. Disney yeah. added the red shirt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's the original Winnie the Pooh? Uh, I'll pull up a picture of him real quick. Uh, right, he doesn't have a shirt. He just didn't have it. He was just naked, dude. Yeah. What? Let me see. <laughs> Look at that one. <laughs> oh, that's a classic picture of that one right there. Oh, he just did not have a shirt. And Piglet had green on yeah. instead of pink. Oh, wow. Cool. So, like, yeah, you can now use these characters in the public, though, because like, cool. they're out there. I mean, there's like, quite a few other stories that are like, I mean, oh, um... Lord of the Rings has been in the public domain for a hot for minute. For a long time. For a hot minute. So anybody can really make a Lord of the Rings movie. You just can't do anything that Peter Jackson did mm -hmm. in his movies. As long as you don't repeat anything in those and you make your own Lord of the Rings story, you can well, base you it off the like, original book. Well, you just base it off the book. That's yeah, it. you can base it off the book. You just can't copy any ideas that anybody else came up with for Lord of the Rings. So you can come up with your own ideas on what things look like or how they... how. Like, you can make that a story. Is so, there's no way you could, like, prove, like, in court. Yeah. That. Like, that's so hard. Well, if you're copying a character from a show, like, like if... Well, like, when if you they write a story, in the book, you, it tells you what the person looks like. Yeah, so it'll tell you what the person. the person... It'll tell you... It'll give a description of the person, so you... Like, that, obviously, you can't copyright. But things like, like, what they're wearing, what their... Well, like, what their weapons look like, or, like, stuff like that is kind of, like... Like, just design, mostly, is where that comes in. Or, like... A lot of the times, they won't follow the book entirely. They'll make their own story beats. Like, they'll change up the story slightly gotcha. to fix the... To make it fit a movie better or, like, a some other series better. Gotcha. So you can change it however you want. You just can't base it off somebody else's project. The Witcher was a pretty cool series. I haven't mm -hmm. seen that yet. It's pretty good. Those were books before they were games. And I yeah, never know that. Fucking show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it was a book, then a video game, then a show. Yeah. And now it's, I don't know. Same thing with Game of, game of Thrones, which I didn't even know that. No. Yeah, there was a Game of Thrones game. I didn't even know that. Think, isn't it a Telltale game? Or is there another one? Um, I spilled some water. God damn it. I don't know if there's a, I don't know if there's a Game of Thrones game. Well, I think there is. It might be. If it is, it's a Telltale game, and I just, I didn't know because I don't really like Telltale. Really? I, <clears throat> I don't like those games. They're just like... They're so, like... There's quite a few, actually. They're just boring. Um, <laughs> it's just, like... I like the decision-making aspects, but it's so kind of fake to me. Like, they, those games mm -hmm. give you the illusion of choice. They don't really give you, like, a choice. You can make decisions that will affect the story later on. Yeah. But a lot of the times, the, the ending is pretty much the same. Like, there's no different ending to The Walking Dead, as far as I remember. Or at least the original, whatever, like, part of The Walking Dead was. Oh man, I remember those games. Uh, what is? Oh wait, they got bought out by something. I also right? hate Telltale the way they do graphics. You I don't like the graphics. Hate shell shading, dude. That's why I don't like Borderlands. Borderlands you don't like Borderlands? Borderlands looks like shit, dude. Bro, Borderlands looks like, trash, dude. Looks, like trash, dude. looks like trash, dude. It looks like trash. Thank you. It, like I, I, I don't care. The game can be fun, but it hurts my eyes to look at the weird shell shaded like. Fucking like all the weird fucking thick line draws, like it's just yeah. I don't I don't really like it. I like the style. It's I unique. think it's neat. It's just I I personally don't like that kind of aesthetic. Damn. It's the same thing with me and steampunk. I fucking hate steampunk. Oh uh, what? Steampunks look like shit. I think like like steampunk. People think steampunk is like it's always just like fucking brass pipes and like mm -hmm. fucking like. I understand. Glasses, I understand that one. The more. coolest part of steampunk is airships. You, that you can make airships, airships look really fucking cool. sick. But like, so were you not a fan of the Bioshock games then? Is that aren't the, don't they have the steampunk aesthetic? It's more diesel, diesel uh, uh, kind of like that's true. I, I don't know entirely. I think diesel punk is cooler. I like World War One aesthetic a lot. Mm. If you make some, 
<laughs> it's so fucking really cool. cool. I know. Bro. I just like their like their tanks were pieces of shit, but goddamn, did they look cool? Yeah, they were. <laughs> they were they were cool. <laughs> like fucking uh, what's that game? The one where you go ah uh, fuck the zombies map in Black Ops Two. Oh, uh, Origins. Like, yeah. Yes, that was fun. Yeah, that's cool. Except, dude. like, it's so hard to get past the first fucking boss on, like, level 5, bro. Oh, we're talking, <laughs> we're just gonna talk about Origins now? Bro, Origins? <laughs> just for a minute. Can we talk about how the fuck you're supposed to kill that fucking dude in the suit? Get, an, get a staff. They're not too bad when you're together in a group, but if you're playing solo, you're fucked, dude. Yeah, there's, like, no fucking <laughs> options. It's pretty <laughs> difficult. It's hard, but I've done it before. He's not, like... I, I've never done any of the Easter eggs on Origins. I've never been never, in the game. Me I've never had a staff. What? I've never had. I've this... never gotten past like round ten on Origins, because every time we play Origins, people are like, we play like two games, and then people are like, fuck Origins. I don't want to play Origins ever again. This fucking sucks. Just... We're playing Buried. <laughs> yes, Buried. <laughs> Dude, that's what we always fucking did. <laughs> it's like, you're either buried or Mob of the Dead, which I'm fine. Mob the I love Mob of the Dead, but like... <laughs> Mob of the Dead is my number one favorite fucking zombies map. It's pretty good. All the time. I think that's a lot of people. That's also mine. Dude, I think that's most it. people in Team Asia. It's so easy to just like... I think that's also like... like I think Jake also said that, and I think Seth might have also said Mob of the Dead. Die Rise is also a classic. Oh. I like Die Rise, even though everybody else doesn't like Why Die Rise. Why does nobody like fucking Die Rise? It was just a The set. mechanics are shit. It was, no, a, it was a Sethi Swan thing for a little bit, too. Which oh, was Sethi like, Swan was, was like the pioneer of Sethi like, Swan Rise. fucking loved Die Rise. I loved it. He made me love it. I was like, damn, this is Dude, so I like Die Rise because... You can go anywhere. It's, it's neat. But I, I understand why people don't like it. Why? Because you can fall off any time. <laughs> Just make sure you, you don't fuck fall up off then. Or Sometimes you can't do that. It, a lot of, uh, and Die Rise is very compact. It's very it small. Is, it it's is. not open at all. It's, so it's, it's not easy to train it's in. It's too vertical. That's why people don't like it. Eh, yeah, there's some easy spots. It's not pretty easy, at. bro. You just keep running in the long circle and you just don't miss a jump. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, yeah, like... Die Rise is just hard because all, every part of that map, besides like the roof, mm -hmm. is so tight. Every room is yeah. like a small ass room. Like, so. But once you got all those fucking rounds, traps, and then you guys like both went on like you know the fucking big thing, and then you both yeah, put things going yeah. that way. You don't even need that though. Just get the liquefier. Liquefier. Yeah. Get the perks that you want, and then just go get the trample steam, and then sit in that one room that's like in between the Buddha room and the box spawn. You know that room I'm talking about? Yeah. Are you talking about the one that usually, that uh, you build the trample steam in? No, not that one. Like, oh, the one where the box goes sometimes when you have to like slide down. Oh, you're talking about, okay, yeah, I know what you're talking yeah. about. So between the Buddha room, there was a there was that little hallway between the box and mm -hmm. the Buddha room. And then, so, and then the hallway went down the elevator shaft, you jumped down. Yeah, that, yeah. that spot right there. Yeah. Before you go down the elevator shaft, just train in there. Easy. Easy as shit. Yeah. But I, I don't like the map. I just don't. I don't like who's who. That perk is fucking. Right, I will agree. Don't who's get who it. Is, who's I who never have gotten that perk there on purpose. It is the most useless perk ever. It is. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, I do. Who's who? Who's who? Dead shot is also kind of useless. I don't. All I, I got, got was shot. fucking juggernaug, quick revive, fucking double tap, fucking. What's the other one? Speed cola. Speed cola. That's a must. I get jug, double tap, and then usually like. I'll mix it up between after that. Everything after that is kind of I just I, don't I, know. I just need it's interchangeable. Uh, so quick, re quick reload and juggernaut. That's my, that's like the two number one. Quick revive because people like go down sometimes and that ruins the whole game. So you need the quick revive. <laughs> and y'all shit. It happens, you know. And you know what? All my friends on Xbox shit on electric cherry. And I don't know why. I like electric it's good. Cherry. It's pretty good. It's just uh, especially on, on Mob of the Dead. It's that's what I use it on. That's yeah. It. That's part of your. I only uh, do that because plans. you can get extra perks just by playing, right? Yeah. Let's well, uh, Tombstone. What? Tombstone, you could get all the perks <laughs> if, you were, uh, <laughs> if you did the Tombstone thing where you uh, you get. No, all, like, there was buy one all your where perks. you could like do. Oh wait, no, that's buried. You can get every perk. Yeah. yeah. That's why I always got. Everything. Yeah, you go through the witch's house yeah. and you get every perk. Mob of the Dead was one of the few maps you couldn't get all the perks in. Yeah. And there was only five, so... I got you know. Jug, Electric Cherry, I got Speed Coal, and Quick Revive. There were, in Mob of the Dead, there was no Quick Revive. Or are we talking about a different map? Mob of the Dead? There yes, was quick there revive. was Quick Revive. No, there was no Yes, there was, no, there wasn't. 
I if, swear to God. How do you do single player? You have the afterlife system. Oh yeah, you're you're fucking right. There is no there is no quick revival of the dead. He's right because there there was no quick revival because there was the afterlife. Remember when you died, you came back yeah. to the electric guy. So there was no quick revival. There was no point. Yeah. So I, well, okay. So I got jug, speed cola, and it was probably electric cherry. Electric cherry. What's the fourth one? Jug, speed cola, probably double tap. Cherry, and double tap. Double tap. Yep. And if you got dead shot, you're lying to yourself. Yeah. You dude, never got I dead, never got dead shot. You never got You got dead shot. You were fucking. You're fucking flying. stupid. You're lying to yourself. Those are the only five perks on mob. Why would you pick enormous. up Deadshot over every other perk? Yeah, like all the other four are must gets. Like, mm -hmm. well, the Electric Cherry could technically be switched out if Deadshot was good, but it's not. So, I mean, Deadshot's okay, but I'll take Electric Cherry. I'll I'd take rather take Electric Cherry. Too. I'd rather take that. When you reload, every fucking sparks around you. Fuck. Mm -hmm. yeah. With Speed Cola, fuck. Yeah. So when are we doing our Easter egg runs? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Russo is is uh, AFK for a little while, so. Damn. My Xbox just doesn't connect the internet, so I don't oh, know really? what's wrong with it. You try hardwiring it? Uh, when I try to click it in, it doesn't click. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Either I have a faulty wire or a faulty Xbox. Nah, the wire goes into my computer just fine. Uh oh. <laughs> I mean, it's an old wire, I will say, but what do you it works have, on my like, computer. What, what, you have a Series S? Yeah. Uh, so, like, I just got my Series X. Yeah, you did. I yeah. finally upgraded the new generation. Welcome. I can finally play games at 60 frames per second for my first time ever at home, and it feels amazing, <laughs> dude. <laughs> dude, holy shit, dude. 60 frames makes Try all like the difference, bro. All that's, the difference. That's why it's like in a PC. To be I, fair, I didn't pay for it, so... My friends got it for me as a gift. My Xbox friends pitched together to buy me an Xbox. I thought it was the coolest thing. Was cool. That is cool as shit. Yeah. So, shout out to Colin. Yeah. And then uh, I guess Kylie for setting up the fucking treasure. I should talk about the treasure hunt. You should talk about the treasure hunt. They sent me on a treasure hunt to find the fucking Xbox. Oh, cool. So they. Where did it end up being? Yeah. So it was a. Uh, Colin flew in Friday night. No, it was. Monday night at eight, and then we went to uh, he went he was like really bugging me to go to Wawa for some reason. He was really fucking bugging me. So like we went to Wawa. They don't have in Wawa Malaga. down south. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's so he Wawa like house. there Wawa is there. My friend Kylie works at the Wawa in Malaga. Okay. And she handed me a fucking slip. It was just a piece of paper, and it said the journey begins. It was just a ripped piece of paper, and I was like, the fuck does this mean? So I went. We went back to Nick's house. The next day, I found another piece of paper. <laughs> And it was like, it was with another clue. <laughs> and I fucking, like, I chased it. I went down to, like, I was all over. I was just finding these fucking clues. And eventually, they made me drive to fucking, uh, there was a park. You know the one in Malaga? That's yeah. near the, I had to drive there. And they fucking taped one to the monkey bars there. And I had found it. And I brought it back. <laughs> and then I went to Walmart, and I had to search through a fucking DVD thing. And I found another <laughs> And they, they set this up, like, days before, like, oh my they God. had been working on it for a while, or at least a hot minute, or, the, or that means they had set it up the night before, and they, <laughs> after I had left, because I left at, like, 12. Yeah, okay. So, like, after that, I went back to Nick's house, and they had fucking hung, <laughs> what was it, they had, they brought me to the, it was somewhere, like, the note said to go to the woods or something, it was something like that, and then hanging in a tree between, like, five fucking trash bags which just hanging in a tree up there. I had to fucking grab it from the tree and pull it down. And it was a brand new Xbox in there. It was fucking awesome. Oh, shit. Yeah, it was great. They sent me on a fucking adventure. They had to make it hell before I could get it. I mean, yeah. I think it's worth it. That's worth it. Yeah, dude, it was awesome. I remember they were telling me, like, they had an idea of burying it. Yeah, they were going to bury it, but uh, they didn't. What was it? It was either they couldn't get in the shed or they didn't have like time to do it. I forget, but that was I know that was their original idea was to bury it at the end. But that that's a really cool way of getting a series X. No, it was a very neat. Cooler than getting it for Christmas, I guess. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, is there anything you guys want to talk about still? Not really. Uh, um Do we have anything to plug before? Halo we still sucks. Halo still yeah. When are they going to update that? So, the game will be good by the end of the year. 
<laughs> Even though it should have been good last year, but you know, uh, I would like just to, wait another year for the full game. I would game. like to go on a quick rant real quick about the current state of the, the video game industry. Is that... Is it... I'm so tired of them releasing not complete games. <laughs> I'm the only so, complete game is just like the only complete game that, games. that was released, and even that's kind of. But like the only good game that was released this year that was complete day one was Elden Ring. Fuck yeah, Elden that's Ring, baby! Woo! Nothing else. Elden Ring is fire. Nothing else for the past like I've four got like three hundred hours in Elden Ring already. Let's go! <laughs> Damn, I don't. Play I that. fucking love that game. Ugh. That game was perfect on release. Came out. Fully packaged. Everything, all the content yeah. that was in the game was in the game on launch, dude. What? And guess what? The game fucking worked. It wasn't broken. It wasn't a piece of shit. It actually worked. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was amazing. I can't stand it anymore, though. That's why I don't buy any new games because yeah. every single game that comes uh, out isn't done. Games have have changed from releasing a full product. And uh, most games now, you pay sixty dollars for a. Uh, for a pay service. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you, you charge somebody $60 for a half-finished game, and then you fill out that content with season passes, which they pay $8 a month for. Yeah. So that way they can squeeze even more cash out of you. Which, nowadays, to be fair, you can't really keep the $60 price tag and still have it be profitable. Because games are so large, they, make, they need more money. Games have been $60, since the 70s. Yeah, that is true. If when you bought an Atari 2600 back in the day, you bought the Atari 2600 for $500. Oh, wow. And that, that's in today's money. When you wanted to buy fucking combat, you bought combat for like $50, $60. Back yeah. in the day when you got your NES, your Nintendo, you were paying, again, $500 for the system. And then you would pay $60 for Mario. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, like... Think about it this way. Games are getting bigger and bigger, yet the price tag has stayed the same ever since games have came out. It's starting to be 80 bucks now. Yeah, well, well that's like special depending on, Yeah, well, PS4 is, they've changed to the $70 price. PS5 has changed to the $70 price tag, which I guess is fair, but that means you have to release a full game if you do that. Mm -hmm. If you're going to do that, you can't do the whole, like, oh, well, we, we have to do it because, well, yeah, you made it more expensive. Don't try and sell us more stuff afterwards after that. Because I understand that the games industry cannot be... You can't... A game won't last if it doesn't have a season pass nowadays. Yeah. Because you're just not making the profit that you need to keep that game alive. Unless you're Elden Ring. Unless you're Elden Ring and you just make a fucking good game on launch. <laughs> or you just make a good <laughs> you just, game. You just make a good game. <laughs> yeah. I, I just... That's just something I wanted to say. It's been pissing me yeah, off. It's like more the past you three pay. Years. You're paying for a game that's going to be good. Six it's more months like later. investing. You're investing. It doesn't in feel a game like you're now, buying a game. Then anymore. you're buying a game. Mm -hmm. When you get Halo, you're not getting the full game. You're waiting for the full game now. So you're just playing the scraps that they give you. Yeah. That's why I'm glad I don't play it. Well, with Game Pass, you can just play a lot of these games for free now, so... Basically. I, guess I just paid for Game Pass, yeah. Game no, Pass I, is so far. I feel like that's another it's issue so with why games aren't being made anymore, is because there's stuff like Game Pass. They don't have to try as hard. Well, well, I don't know if that's entirely... I think that with Game Pass, that, that thing has been... Skyrim is on Game it? Pass, like, yeah. damn. Yeah. The Game Pass has, like, a lot of really good games on it and people shit on it a lot for having a bunch of shovelware on it mm -hmm. but that's like indie games just because you're not into indie games doesn't mean that they're not good games yeah, there's, there's, you, there are still gems on there you know you can still find things like undertale and shit like and people say shovel it was like one of the best games when it came out and it was an indie game yeah like i don't get that whole thing now playstation is kind of fucky because they... They're releasing their own game. They just thing. released They're it. They're just they, doing they, it. They, yeah, they just did it this year. And it's shit. It's garbage, <laughs> dude. I have actually not so, seen much of it. To be fair, it. Game Pass is like... I think it's like over... It's like 150 games or something. It's like... It's a lot of games. It's a lot. It's but like I think right. the PlayStation Plus one is like 800 games. But the thing with the game... With the PlayStation's version of it is... You can't download those games to your Xbox and play them to your PlayStation and play them natively. You have to cloud game, which means you have to stream them from... They still do that? Yeah, which means that all of I those... I know that was an issue a few years yeah, ago, but... So, PlayStation, you can't actually... Their Game Pass service doesn't allow you to download the games to play natively. You actually have to play them through cloud play. Which means if your internet is shit, you ain't playing any of those fucking games. 
Oh wow, but it's still PS Now, it's the same shit. Oh my god. So what do you think is wrong with my Xbox then? Uh, you might just have a uh, faulty port. Yeah, the port Yeah, but like, what there. about the Wi-Fi? Oh. Wi-Fi should work at least. Yeah, I, I got nothing for that. Try harder? <laughs> have you tried uh, plugging it in and plugging it back in? Yeah. <laughs> like plugging it in and, oh shit. That's pretty intense. Did yeah. you try turning it off and on? Yeah. Fuck, dude. Oh, I'm out of ideas, bro. So, a few days ago, they announced that uh, a few classic PC titles are coming to uh, Game Pass on PC. Yeah, Elder Scrolls sir. 2 and Wolfenstein 3D. Yeah, they're coming to the PC version. So, I might actually play Daggerfall, because I've actually never played that. It's it's a classic, though. I've played uh, Morrowind. is too old for me to play. I'm sorry. I've tried. It's too, it's, I've, I've been tried trying so many times. to play Morrowind, but... Morrowind is, if you don't know, it... Between the Elder Scrolls games, it's mm -hmm. five is Skyrim, four is Oblivion, and then before Oblivion there was Morrowind. Yeah. Morrowind is aged. It is aged. <laughs> very, very aged. I will say it still looks pretty. It's pretty okay. It's very foggy. Yeah. But, uh, but that's yeah, just because you don't have a draw distance. What? World of Warcraft. Bro, I'm playing oh, WoW in a hot minute. It's not good anymore. I, I don't know it's if it's not, not good, I just don't think people play WoW anymore. Like, the way I played it was just playing the missions, I never liked WoW's it. WoW's got a pretty big, uh, WoW's got a pretty big, uh... I feel like it'll always have a, a good following. Yeah, it's got a pretty big following with it, but it's... The game itself is not that great anymore. I played it during Cataclysm, and that was fire. Cataclysm was fucking awesome. Yeah, people said Cataclysm was like... One League of, of the... Legends is a game I played a lot. Of. Fuck, dude. Fucking League. Alrighty. Alright, uh, I don't got any more tactics. Yeah, you guys wanna wrap this up? Yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah, let's give you some lunch. Goodbye, everybody. Remember to tip your delivery driver, even though that was two jobs ago. <laughs> oh, shit.